Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's your host, Cyber Gaming Studios, and we are playing Call of Duty Black Ops 4. So before we begin, I want to give a full disclaimer that I'm not sure, I'm not 100% sure if this method on how to fix this sim issue that I'm going to be talking about is going to work for everybody. I know that in the past, tutorials, people would go and try it, and they come back saying that it didn't work for them. Now, I'm going to say in this video, so this way, people can understand of what I'm talking about, and I'm saying it early in the video, so I don't have to say it later in this video, and try to save as much time as your, as your, of your time as possible. So, yeah, so if it doesn't work for you, I can try to do my best ability to, to help you, but if there's nothing beyond that, um, then I'm sorry in advance. So, let's get started. So, earlier today, I went to play my PS4, and I finally got my hard drive fixed because it was a partition that was kind of corrupted or messed up. I have no idea. So, I finally got it working, and I'm, as you can see, I'm playing Black Ops 4, and I finally got the other hard drive. I thought it was broken, which wasn't. It was more of a connect connectivity issue between the motherboard and the hard drive on my PC. So, it was, you know, trial and an error kind of way. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, um... So once I got that all figured out, I reinstalled my PS4 firmware, which was like a complete new install, and I wanted to play some games. I wanted to play like Black Call of Duty. I wanted to play newer Call of Duties. Um, I know that I'm, I love Black Ops 2 on Xbox 360, but I haven't touched that game in like almost like three weeks right now. By two weeks? Two, three weeks? Almost three weeks? And I pretty much feel bad because I spent money on it, so I'm like, uh, okay. So beyond that... Uh, once I installed my the firmware, I set up my PS4, logged into my PSN account, and I noticed something very, very strange. Uh, the first thing I noticed was if you go on, whenever you log into your console on your on the bottom right of your screen, you'll see your PSN ID or your real name that you set uh, on your console. You'll and you have if you have PS Plus, you'll will see a plus icon on uh, next to your name. The problem here was that. My P that I had PS Plus, PSN was telling me that I had PS Plus, but my PS4 wasn't. It was said I didn't have PS Plus. I couldn't play the games that that had PS were able to use PS Plus. Used had to have PS Plus in order to play them, and I was pretty much disappointed because all of my save data is also backed up on PS Plus. So I was kind of like I wasn't freaking out, but I was like, oh my god, are you serious? Uh, kind of way and. It was a really big deal for me because, yeah, I mean, if I didn't complain online, it was no biggie because, I mean, I could just play offline, but I wanted to play some games and the PS Plus was a big thing for me, but it wasn't like, oh, I'm a desperate for it because I can just play Xbox if I don't, if I can't play on PS4. So, yeah, you get the idea. Um, you get the point. Um, so, that kind of, that kind of, Gave me a red flag. The second red flag that I didn't notice because I didn't go directly to my library. I wanted to see if I wanted to see if I could be able to download games and have them pre-downloaded, so I don't have to worry about them later. The best, part, the worst part about this was that when I went to my library, all three hundred over three hundred games, three hundred games. This includes actual games that I purchased, apps, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and as well games that I have received over the years with PS Plus. Um, we're gone. It said I had zero games. I had nothing. I'm like, and then on the top right corner, it said offline. I'm like, um, what happened to all my games? <laughs> I mean, I have disc games. I don't get me wrong, but they're not the games that I have on digital. So, I have, majority of my games are digital based. So, if anything happens, I'm pretty much screwed. So, um, I was pretty much disappointed. I was kind of upset. I was like shocked. I was I wasn't going off. To, I wasn't like really upset to like start screaming because I'm on antidepressants, um, so I really can't be angry about it. Unfortunately, um, and uh, I didn't know what to do. Um, I tried the following things. I tried turning off the PS4, restarting it. I've tried re rebuilding the database by just turning off the PS4, pressing holding until you hear a second beep, and didn't do anything. I've tried re-updating the firmware, not factory setting firmware, but re-updating it, just updating it through the internet, through, through safe mode, and that didn't do anything. Um, and 
I tried I tried to, as much as I can. I didn't want to pay for PS Plus because my PS Plus doesn't end until August 1st. And um, unfortunately, that wasn't the case. Um, so uh, I didn't know what to do. So what I did is say, you know what, I'm going to give the PS4 a break. And I'm going to just go play, continue playing Xbox till then, and I'll try it again later. Um that was the all that was the bad news. The good news about this and the situation that after I, I turned off my PS4, after two hours, two or three hours later, it was approximately like one and a half to almost two hours um, later, um, I turned on my PS4. I noticed I didn't notice my PS Plus that was there, but once I went to my library, it slowly started loading up all the games that I purchased, which including apps, games that I purchased, PS Plus games that I've received through PS Plus for free over the years, and I was pretty happy. I was pretty happy, but unfortunately, my PS Plus has still had the issue where even though that P- my PSN says PSN has says that I, oh, I already have PS Plus, my PS4 wasn't telling me that I had PS4 Plus, PS not PS4 Plus, I don't know what I'm talking about, PS Plus, and it, it couldn't let me play any, download any of the games, and after like five minutes, then the PS Plus actually showed up, uh, on my next icon, and I was able to download my games and stuff like that. So I'm really glad that actually worked out for me in the end. And you could try the same way as, as I did. So if you guys are having the same issue, just like I did, the first thing I would I would recommend you guys doing is try troubleshooting your PS4. Go into safe mode and immediately rebuild database. If that doesn't work, try updating from the internet. If that doesn't work, update through the safe mode, update through the internet. And if that doesn't work, then what you'll have to do is just shut down your PS4. Or, I know this is a very long process, but it's trust me, make sure you have plenty of things to do within two hours, or two hours at least, because it's a very long process. So after two hours, turn on your PS4 and you go directly to your library. If your games start loading, they're perfectly slow, but so don't expect them to be really fast. Um, once they start loading up, then you should restart your PS4 again, and then everything should go back to normal. And that's pretty much how I fixed my issue. I don't know if this has ever happened to you, but I just know that it happened to me, and this is the first time this ever happened to me. I even tried, as well, I forgot to mention that I even tried restoring licenses, and I kept getting an error as occurred. It was an error code, and I had to figure out what that error code was, and it had to deal with DRM. Um, so this is all a DRM issue, and I don't know if, it's, I don't know, because when I logged into my girlfriend's account, she her, her stuff was perfectly fine, but mine was just bleh. But either way, I, that's, I hope you guys thought this might have helped you if you're experiencing this kind of thing. If you didn't or if this did not work, you can still leave your comments and ask questions in the comment section below. Maybe someone out there that has a better answer and a better solution than I do if this doesn't work for you. If it does work for you, then that's awesome. I'm glad that it worked for you and I'm hoping that it doesn't happen to you ever again. But either way... I hope you guys have, did have, did have a have a great weekend and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.